Hi, and today I'm going to show you how I use my juicer to make soup and also to make batches of stuff so that nothing goes to waste. So um, let's get started. juice the vegetables that I know I can use in a soup and I leave if I put lemon with lemon rind I'll, I won't use that so I'll put that in last and same with the cucumber so I'm just going to put a bit of celery in I don't have to keep doing this all the time. So the batches I make there, then um, turn off the wall. See all of that, I don't want to waste it. So I've got boiling here. Oh, I've turned it off. Um, starting to boil up is uh, some onions, some green beans, some carrots, some cauliflower and sweet corn and also some garlics in there and I'm going to add that into there and I'm going to turn that then into a soup. Uh, so if I bring that over I don't know if you can see it. So there's loads of stuff in there and in this pan there's potatoes boiling. So what I tend to do is I'll turn that into a soup and I might make two or three different soups. So I might make one with some of the potatoes, I'll add different seasonings, I'll use chilli, um, I'll use Sometimes a bit of curry powder as well is really nice and various different other flavourings to make perhaps two or three different soups and some of them I freeze so that then I've always got some soups to, to come back to. Also adding a bit of stock um, can make it really really nice. So this is a way that then you can use and it's weird putting pears and apples in there. It just makes the soup really nice you know. Chinese five spice is really nice in that as well. Yeah, where I showed you I'm cooking up some uh, vegetables here. Sometimes as well you can use the base as a base and turn it into a curry so that you add it to solid vegetables. And the next one I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to juice the cucumbers and I'm going to take the pulp of that to make that as a different sort of soup so um, that I can have later. Okay, so let me turn it on. So there's the harder ingredients and now I'm going to add some softer ingredients but also some stuff from my garden. Um, this is a vine leaf so I've got grapes in my garden that they never grow very nice but you can actually eat vine leaves, you've heard of stuff vine leaves. So 
there's going to be some nutrients in that. Also, the other thing that I've got here is a nettle, which I'm not touching. Um, and again, courtesy of my garden, and then sprigs of mint. So, plonking that in there, and I'm going to use a cucumber to help push it through. different vegetables to make something up there and then the stuff I've got here once it's cooked I'm going to blend it then I'm going to separate it add two or three different things and add different flavors to it um, and again when I do this cucumbery one there'll be some of that I'll take out to blend with some of this so even if I just do that I've got three different types then I've got the potatoes there and then I tend to freeze them all in um, little airtight uh, glass type containers. <coughs> These type of containers. Yep. So, and again, from the last time, I put my spare juice in there so that I like to do juice days or. Um, juice mornings and sometimes I will freeze that, that isn't full enough to freeze and yeah oh there's a bit of pass, um, basil there but again you can, I can add that in there, um, you can add that in and I love having soup squeezing lemon on it and coriander um, and a bit of rock salt and it's really really right, nice. So after that um, bit of work there's three juices that will do me for tomorrow and various different soups that one's um, curry with coconut and chili that one's um, it's got coconut and potato in it um, that one's got a bit of tandoori and chili and sometimes I put them in the smaller thing like this because then I can bring them out and add them to a different soup so that I create lots of endless varieties and if I make something I don't like then I tend to um, put it into lots of different you know smaller ones like that and it gets absorbed in something that's got a more taste to it so th that will be two meals for me um, and the rest I'll put in the freezer and probably leave a couple out so that uh, I can have those for dinner, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, great talking to you now.